Hi guys, it's Chrissy Hughes again. Just coming in to provide you a little bit of a minute of mindfulness. Just to talk about things that are going on, what life is like, and to let you know that Fleet and Family is here for you along this journey. Again, if you don't know who I am, I'm a life skills educator with Fleet and Family Support Center. I also work in deployment readiness. Um, so, I wanted to come and actually share a little bit of a personal story today. You might find it amusing, you might not. Good news is, if you don't like it, you can just move right along on the internet. Um, so I woke up super early about two days ago because I have to actually log hours at different times than other people because I have three kids that I'm taking care of who are out of school. So I woke up really early um, and decided to go for a run. I'm gonna get you know those endorphins going, I'm gonna make sure I'm tired, I'm gonna make sure I got outside and um, you know, breathe some fresh air. So I went outside, had a really nice run, and on my way back, I actually took this really gorgeous picture. You can see that there. Beautiful sunrise right over San Diego Bay. I was feeling really on top of the world. I was like, hey, before even anybody's awake at my house, I've gotten in my run, I've connected with nature, um, even with this coronavirus, COVID-19, things are going to be fine. I got it, right? Big pound on my back. Took off my running belt, clipped it together, swung my running belt over my shoulder just in time for the clip to break apart and for my original phone to shatter into pieces on the screen. Where can you go get your screen fixed during um, a shutdown? <laughs> of the entire state of California? The answer is nowhere. <laughs> um, so I wanted to bring this up because many times when we're trying to practice mindfulness, we're looking for the kind of the perfect environment and the perfect opportunity to really meditate or be in the moment or spend time with our family. And we take those moments like that really gorgeous picture I just showed you and we pick apart the things that might be wrong in that moment. The thing is that in life, it's really hard to find those perfect, wonderful moments. We kind of have to learn how to marry the good and the bad together, just like what's happening now. I work full-time job. Many times I miss my children when I'm working in a daily setting. So I have to remind myself of how I felt in those moments when I was in the office or running from meeting to meeting that I did miss my children. And I did want to spend more time with them. Um, so there's three concepts with mindfulness, and we're going to keep this really brief. But I want you to remind yourself that when you're trying to be mindful while you're eating, um, while you're spending time with your family, while you're spending time by yourself, um, while you're working, maybe while you're engaging in physical fitness or mental fitness, or whether you're seeing challenges in life, I want you to think of three tenets of mindfulness. So I wrote these out for you so you can have them for you. Those are non-judgment, curiosity, and acceptance. So in my personal situation, non-judgment. Hard not to judge that running belt that broke, the way the phone fell right on its face, the fact that I didn't do it over the grass or catch it while it was breaking. Non-judgment. I'm not going to judge the situation for what it is. The fact that iPhones like tend to have like very breakable screens. Um, curiosity. Gosh, that was really uncomfortable. Why did that happen to me? Why did that happen after such a wonderful moment where I really felt like I made a good jump on my day? And then in the end, acceptance. So even though I'm having a really wonderful moment with one of my children and she feels like she's learning, I might also be having a really horrible meltdown with another child. And the same, I like to garden. I feel like having new life around me is really important. Um, I have a really nice fiddle leaf fig in the background you can see here that's flourishing really well. In the meantime, I killed an aloe vera plant. <laughs> uh, people who garden know that aloe vera plants are actually pretty stable, but somehow I managed to kill this one. Non-judgment, acceptance, Curiosity, why did that happen? I don't know, it's just the way life is right now, right? So these are some three ideas for you to take throughout your day. 
Um, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for engaging. Pat yourself on the back. You guys are really doing a good job out there. Um, and take a few moments during your day to be mindful, okay? Let me know if you've liked it. Comment below. We'll be here for whatever you need. All right? Have a good day. Bye.